women get a fair shake at Google, and since Google is an industry leader, at the Valley as a whole. This is an increasingly explosive business story. It's happening now in Silicon Valley. Female Google workers slamming the Silicon Valley tech company in a new class action lawsuit, saying Google, quote, segregates women into lower paying jobs and stifles their careers. This says Google has joined other Silicon Valley companies to speak out against the Trump administration on policies for things like dreamers, climate change, border security and national security. This, as women at tech companies say discrimina- uh, discrimination against them, is rampant in Silicon Valley. Google parent company Alphabet closing the day in the red. Let's bring in Washington Times contributor Eric Schiffer. Look who's here as well. Independent Women's Forum, Nan Hayworth, joining me now. Good to see you both. Great to be with you, Lance. You know, Nan, you. Google criticizes the administration and all of those things. Meantime, mm-hmm. the, the allegation is it underpays its workers, what, female workers. What do right. you say? Well... Uh, you know, the, when you uh, want to empower government to do many things, then, you know, you have to watch out that government's going to be used to uh, by your female workers to uh, assail you for possible pay discrepancies. And it's an important issue, one that we don't want to ultimately cloud uh, objective reality about you know, job positions, career paths and other things that account for some of the pay discrepancies. It deserves objective examination. Yeah, you know, there's indication, uh, Eric, that, you know, examples anecdotally, um, female Google manager getting paid less than her underling, and then some of the women getting paid at 43% of what men make. This this is a, an incredibly explosive business story for in the entire uh, Silicon Valley companies. Um, you know, but Eric, what do you make of the firing uh, at Google of the worker who, James Damore, he penned that controversial memo on its diversity policies. He did speak to Fox Business about Google's culture. Let's take a listen to that first. I like your reaction. They can use their policies to say that any wrong thing, in their opinion, is against their policies. So we've seen it time and again where they use it just for political means. There's a certain dogma a left-wing dogma that they have that it, they feel threatened if anyone uh, shows a dissenting opinion. And in my case, they just fire them. Wow, Eric, it's really something the smartest guys in tech shunning other points of view, right? Well, it's certainly a strong point of view, not one I agree with at all. And I think it's, uh, frankly, pretty disgusting what he said. But I certainly am an advocate of free speech. And I think what uh, he proposed and what he put forth, uh, Google can do whatever they want. Absolutely. I mean, their code of conduct talks about bias. And look, it fit into that category without question it did. And they made that election. In Silicon Valley, this is commonplace. It's disgusting. And frankly, look, in my opinion, some of the best coders have been women. And so it doesn't even meet reality when you really do a blind test. Yeah. Women, I think, in my opinion, are the best coders. They're, that's who I hire yeah, they, they were, uh, in my they technology put, they companies. They big in the space program, Nan. Mm, you yes. know, women coders helped put men on the moon. They were they at NASA in the 50s. Absolutely. You know, I, I, to Eric's point, and by the way, I've read what James Moore has said. I personally don't agree with, that, with the thrust of what he was saying. I think he came to conclusions too rapidly. But why mm. shouldn't, shouldn't Google just have an open town hall and let let James Damore debate Eric Schiffer, or debate you, or debate other Google workers about this. You know what? Look, uh, go oh, ahead, go Dan. Ahead. I was going to say, you know what, Liz? Uh, Google's probably pretty uh, trigger shy about doing that right now, given that they've got this big lawsuit pending. They probably want but to it would be change a good the idea, discussion. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It'd be a perfectly terrific idea. <laughs> I agree with you. All I right. just think it's a little delicate right now. But you're right. A little dicey. We'll. Pick this up maybe Monday. Nan and Eric, you guys have been terrific. Thank you so much. We have breaking.